Hi, welcome to Easy SSH Demos. Today I'm going to demo how you can use your AAD identity to protect your SSH endpoints with Easy SSH. The first one, we're going to do the regular SSH. So we have an endpoint, we know the username. So we're just going to do Easy SSH, SSH E, and the endpoint name. This is going to prompt us to authenticate for the first time in the day. And this is going to open our browser. We're going to use single sign on and we're going to log in. Once we log in, it'll automatically connect us to the machine. Now, if we want to do multiple machines at once, we can pass a CSV with all the endpoint information. So we do easy SSH bash and then the file name. This is going to go ahead and it will open all the SSH machines at once. And as you can see, we log into all of them in a few seconds. This is cool, but a lot of users prefer a UI. This is why we have created our EasySH UI tool. So in here, you can see your available endpoints. See they're separated by hybrid, Azure endpoints, and all endpoints. And you can connect to all of them within a click. And one thing to mention that I haven't mentioned before, this works with Azure, uh, hybrid, or even like local. You can see here in my local network, I have a Raspberry Pi, and I'm able to connect with it with one click. So in here, you can see your currently active request. So you can see all the requests that I just did. And you can also see the recent requests. Usually people go to the same request all the time. So we make it easy to just go ahead and select the ones that you want to connect to today. Click and in a few seconds, you're already in. If you like the interactivity of the UI tool, but you prefer terminal, we also have you covered with our easy SSH interactive. So you have to do easy SSH I and then you just select whatever you want to do. So you can see your active requests, your recent requests, you can list your available endpoints. And another thing that I have forgot to mention, we integrate very well with Azure security. So if we select an Azure endpoint and you can pass these parameters in all our tools, you can request an Azure networking JIT. You can change the port. So if you don't use 22, we'll, you can pass, pass a port number and we'll pass it to the SSH connection. And you can change the duration. So if you saw you request for a short amount of time, so it's just in time access, you can change it with a slider or here you can enter the number. We always assume that you want the max. And then after that, we're able to connect you all in one second and all the securities in the background. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy it as much as we do.